Jakari Long of Lexington passed away from injuries sustained after a boxer pit bull mix attacked him in his babysitter's living room while the dog's owner was outside in the driveway. The babysitter told police that she had left the child in the living room of her home, most likely on the floor, while she went out to the driveway to clean out the back seat of her car. While making room in the car for the child, she heard her mother scream from inside and found the dog attacking the child when she entered the room, end quote. Now let me clarify that this was a baby. I've seen several reports refer to this baby as a child. Right? This was a six-month-old baby. This is what a six-month-old baby looks like. This is actually the dog that killed the baby. And in this video, this dog is actually barking aggressively. And you can tell that this mutt not only has no remorse, as it is impossible for dogs to have remorse, but it is ready to attack again. This whole situation sounds like a scenario where the title of fur baby was taken literally, as it always is. This is prevalent among dog lovers. They literally view dogs as no different from a human baby, just as harmless. And that is what happens when you repeat something over and over again. Even if you know it's not true. Even if you know it's a lie. If you repeat it over and over, it will feel like the truth. And you will start to act on it as if it is the truth. That is exactly why she felt <clears throat> that it was safe to leave the baby on the floor while she went out to the driveway. Now you hear people say that you should always have adult supervision when you have kids and dogs around. But in this case, there was. The mother was there. So the dog chose its attack carefully. The babysitter is gone and the mother is too far away. The dog knew that it had time to actually kill the baby and it attacked. As I've said several times, dogs know what babies are. They do not confuse human babies with prey or human adults. They know full well that human babies are as harmless as their own puppies. And they knowingly attack harmless targets. As I've said repeatedly, dogs are evil creatures. Why dogs attack babies? Unfamiliarity, smell, sound, and gaze can contribute, according to this article. Now listen to this. Infants have a strong smell. Given that a dog's sense of smell is tens of thousands of times more sensitive to odors than a human's, an unusual smell can seem like an assault on its senses, end quote. Now, this is not the first time I've read this phrase, an assault on a dog's sense of smell, to explain why dogs attack babies. Notice how they carefully describe the scenario as the dog being assaulted, as basically the dog is responding to being assaulted. This is their narrative to segue into their popular phrase, don't blame the dog. If the smell of babies makes dogs want to maul babies, then it should be a crime to allow dogs around babies. But I don't believe that this is the case, at least not entirely. I believe the dog does indeed pick up a different smell from babies that confirms to the dog that it is in fact a baby. And they maul babies because they are babies. Why? Babies require food. That is the one thing that dogs have to know. And dogs have brains that causes them to be obsessed 
insanely obsessed with food. They are more obsessed with food than a crackhead is to crack. I provided evidence for this in previous videos. And dogs automatically view babies as competition for food. And because dogs are naturally evil, they have no problem with mauling babies to ensure that they themselves obtain all the food that the master is willing to provide. Now, as we all know and accept, there are evil people in the world. We have no problem accepting that. But make no mistake, there are also evil creatures in this world. And dogs are 100% evil creatures, empty and soulless. This article continues on about information I've shared in previous videos, high-pitched sounds that babies make that allegedly excites the dog and the dog interprets the baby as prey. More nonsense. Pay close attention to what these people write. This is their way of suggesting that dogs get confused. Like, oh, I made a mistake. I thought the baby was prey. I'm simply acting the way I'm designed to act. Had I known it was a baby, I would not have, to have attacked. Yet more ammunition for dog nuts. To tell others, don't blame the dog. It was acting on instinct. And they give the example of dogs not staring other dogs in the eye in the wild. And how babies will gaze at you. But this dog walked up to the baby and looked the baby in its eyes. Why? Because the dog fully intended to kill the baby. These people package it as if the dog is minding its own business and the baby is sitting there staring the dog in its eyes. No. This is a six-month-old baby in a car seat. They are once again trying to give dog nuts ammunition to say, don't blame the dog. It's a baby. Babies stare. The dog didn't know any better. Right? In the wild, it's seen as a challenge, etc. These worthless mutants walk up to six-month-old babies in car seats, look them in the face, and maul them. End of story. Anybody who has the nerve to suggest or imply that the dog was provoked by the baby staring it in its eyes should be immediately silenced. They said that the babysitter went back into the home and saw the dog still attacking the baby. Dogs do not view babies as prey. The dog had no intention on eating the baby. They never do. They always simply maul the babies. Their aim is to kill competition for food. They are simply violent, evil creatures. They have no business in society. They have been proven to be incapable of remorse and incapable of having morals, incapable of love, incapable of what we call humanity or human decency. They are heartless, violent mutants that humans try to humanize, which is extremely dangerous. That is a recipe for disaster. So as a result, they endanger others. And this is yet another sacrifice. These kids and babies' blood is on the hands of everybody who supports the presence of dogs in our society, lawmakers and dog lovers, as well as those who may not like dogs but still co-sign with people having the right and freedom to own dogs. I do not co-sign with people playing Russian roulette, with kids, babies, as well as myself and other innocent people. Now, unfortunately, 
this will happen again several times in the future. And the media fails to report these attacks properly. They fail to put things into proper context because they do not want to upset the dog lover world. And because many of them are dog lovers themselves. Right? Their way of reporting these incidents is a baby was attacked by a dog. It was euthanized. Investigators are not sure if the Guardian will face charges. Now on to other news. Now the good thing about YouTube is that the uploaders don't have to play politics. I don't have to gloss over or ignore facts to appease dog lovers or to try to avoid upsetting them. Right? They are not sponsoring me in any way. So I feel a strong responsibility to cover these attacks properly. So you can expect a significant increase in uploads because as we all know, dogs attack people, kids and babies constantly. Every week there are several stories. So videos created in the usual, you know, project format on this channel will continue but in between those videos every dog attack that makes the news will be reported and covered on this channel as well and I will leave links in the description box to each report and as you can imagine I have my work cut out for me so although I've uploaded what 70 videos so far on this channel I've really only just gotten started